Perhaps the youngest of Japan's martial arts, Aikido is known by many of its practitioners and students as the way of peace. However, this martial art can trace its heritage to Japan's 9th century feudal society. And in another form, it was practiced by the samurai as a way of dealing with attackers' weapons if they found themselves unarmed on the battlefield. Aikido's philosophy, however, is more about avoiding violence in the first place. Sensei Jo Tambu is a sixth dan black belt in Yoshinkan Aikido, developed by Shoke Shioda in Japan after World War II. Shioda was a student of Aikido's founding father, Morihai Ueshiba, known among the followers of Aikido as O Sensei or Great Teacher. Throughout the 20th century, Aikido evolved into several schools of practice. Yoshinkan Aikido, here demonstrated by Tambu, is occasionally called the hard style. Yoshinkan Aikido places an onus on practical efficiency and is the style that many branches of the Japanese police study. The varying schools of Aikido all share at their core at least two fundamental threads a commitment to peaceful resolution of conflict whenever possible and a commitment to self-improvement through Aikido training. Aikido is seen by many of its practitioners as a refinement of martial arts technique. The Aikido practitioner seeks to master ki or universal energy for the betterment of his physical and spiritual self. Time spent in the dojo focuses on the practical application of the art. Before Sensei enters the dojo, the class warms up. This includes tumbling exercises. Tambu ensures his students don't fall into the trap of only landing on the side they're comfortable with. A lot of contact with the floor can be expected in Aikido training sessions, so the floor is padded. As class begins, a bow is made to the front as a sign of respect to the art, not as a sign of worship to any image. Then a bow to the teacher, in pursuit of learning and a bow to other students as a sign of respect and humility asking forgiveness in case of injury. Tambu observes the students demonstrating the basic positions and offers guidance. The Aikidoist develops a relaxed posture in which the weight of the body is directed towards its physiologic center in the lower abdomen. Breath into this space also establishes a centered state of mind for the participant. Tambu demonstrates a technique, then builds on it in each class, offering new information in small steps. Yoshinkan Aikido has a large number of techniques. Once the 150 basic techniques are mastered, there are 3,000 more that follow directly on. It's a lifelong study. Increased stamina, flexibility and muscle development occur naturally as a result of training but the techniques themselves do not depend on strength for effectiveness. Aikido is considered to be non-aggressive, as the Aikido student does not instigate the attack. The basic principle of Aikido is do not fight force with force. Aikido uses very few punches and kicks. Instead, the attacker's force is redirected into throws, locks and restraining techniques. Size, weight, age and physical strength play only a small role as the skilled Aikido practitioner is able to redirect the attacker's energy, keeping his partner unbalanced and technically disarmed. Initially, the techniques are taught as static positions and then joined together. When fluid and performed up to speed, the dance-like precision of this art can be truly appreciated in the movements of an Aikido master like Tambu. Aikido founder O Sensei firmly opposed conflict and believed there was no place for competition in Aikido. One school went against this belief, but Aikido is largely non-competitive and not classed as a sport. The art is practiced with a partner, not an opponent, and one can participate to a late age because it does not rely on flexibility, muscle, speed or strength. Thus it has become especially popular with women and senior citizens. If you'd like to experience a martial art that offers mental stimulation whilst working up a sweat, 
Without the bruises from an overzealous sparring partner, Aikido could be what you're looking for.